We start by holding the bird firmly between my legs and that means we've got two hands free to put the saddle on or alternatively you could have someone help you and they could hold the bird for you. So we're putting on the canvas down under our doors saddle, sit it in the position that it's going to go with a strap here, just lift the wing up and bring the strap around underneath the wing and then forward and over the top. And then you've got different options here, but for a bird of this size, I use this press stud onto there. If it was a big bird, I would use that press stud. Or if it was a smaller bird, I can come over to that side. Or if it was a really small bird, I can even come all the way over to there. So there's an option of four different settings, but in this case, I'm just putting that snap onto there. Nice click. Then on the other side, I get the strap from behind coming under the wing all the way forward. It's actually much easier to put on than the ones with elastic straps, especially on big birds. And make sure you put it in the exact same position that I've done on that side. And then this cover flap comes down over top and we do up all three press studs like that. If you're using the shoulder covers, which are available with the green saddles, they just get put in position before you do the final flap up. So I've got one here and you have it so that the biggest parts are facing towards the head of the chook and you'll find the flap will only close if you do it that way anyway. And you, before you do the flap up, you just sit it in place there and then do our three snaps. Being careful not to close the snap on the shoulder cover or it won't close properly. When it's in position like that, I'll just shift the bird and straighten it all out. Then you can put your finger underneath and feel the strap to make sure that it's not too tight. A good, uh, if your finger can easily fit through, it's fine. And there we go, that's all finished and the covers should just stay there like that. All done.